a kid darting out into traffic, how fast can you react? For soldiers needing rehab from war, the brain may have some disconnects. Reaction times can be slow. But new research and training at the Center for Brain Health in Dallas hopes to change that with a little practice. And then please do it as quickly as you can. It's the brain game. Different colors, directions, even weights to create an unlimited surprise factor. There are different weights. So some of them are easier to push and some of them are harder to push, right? right? Yeah, those two weren't very and heavy. Do they, that one was very heavy. Do they surprise you the first time? Yeah, because I, I wasn't expecting it. This haptics device at the Center for Brain Health have four objects on the screen is full of motors programmed to create a seemingly simple task. Push the green boxes as they appear. But with 3D glasses and a cap to monitor brain activity, it's much more scientific than that for a purpose of getting soldiers rehabilitated upon return, specifically for reaction times. Even though you're not really doing it, your brain and your arm feel like they are performing that act in that virtual space. It lets you get quicker, lets you get faster. And while you're doing it, we're looking at your brain waves. We are trying to mimic, again, you know, the, 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 the natural environment, but slowly, you know, one by one. After 20 minutes, participants say you begin to feel like this probe yeah. is your hand. Meantime, the information is sent back using the EEG cap, telling researchers with the University of Texas Dallas's Eric Johnson School of Engineering where the brain is failing. It might be the two parts aren't talking right. Or maybe the client's medication isn't right. When the person is under medication, we want to see how effective the medication is and we can change potentially the medication. And while researchers focus on soldiers' reaction times for now, they believe stroke victims, even sports athletes, could benefit from this training as it develops. In a performance way, can we help with athletes to improve their reaction time measures and have them better anticipate when something's coming, how they're going to catch it and how they're going to throw it. But for now, it's about the basics. A task as simple as catching a falling object. How fast clients react starts right here in training the brain to think fast. Okay, if you are interested in being part of the study, contact the Center for Brain Health. We'll link their website to ours, WFAA.com.